Apple recently introduced a new variation of the Apple Pencil, which means there are now three models of pencil to choose from. So which one is right for you? Well, that depends on which iPad you have, what features you need, and how much you can spend. To find out which iPad model you have, go to Settings, General, About, and check under Model Name. Then see if you can find that name in each of these lists. That's how you'll know which pencils are compatible. Or if you're shopping for a new iPad, you can make your decision based on which pencil you want. But what are the differences between them? Well, the first thing you should consider is the price. The most affordable is the Apple Pencil USB-C at $79, then the first generation model at $99, and finally the second generation model at $129. The USB-C pencil allows you to write, sketch, and draw with pixel-perfect precision, has very low latency to make the writing experience feel as natural as possible, and features tilt sensitivity for shading and other effects useful when sketching and drawing. It also supports hover on iPadOS that gives you a preview of a mark before making it. It attaches magnetically to the side of compatible iPads, although it doesn't charge while connected. Instead, you have to plug in a USB-C cable to a port hidden behind the sliding cap. The mid-tier first-generation Apple Pencil has the same writing precision, low latency, and tilt sensitivity, but adds support for pressure sensitivity, which allows you to make a thicker line while drawing with pressure and a thinner line with less pressure. But it does not attach to an iPad magnetically, nor does it have a charging port. Instead, removing the cap, which is easy to lose, reveals a lightning connector that plugs into some iPads to charge, while other iPad models require an adapter, which are included in the box. The top-of-the-line second-generation pencil has all the features of the previous two, plus wireless pairing and charging while magnetically attached, so you never have to worry about plugging it in, a touch-sensitive surface for double-tapping between drawing tools, and optional free engraving from Apple. So based on those available features at their various prices, you can determine which model of Apple Pencil would best suit your needs. This is Greg with Apple Explained, thanks for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next video.